I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is, Will the Groundhog See His Shadow? I come up to the top on the left hand side, I take three fingers and underneath I put a dot. And from that dot I'm going to draw a curved line up, down, up, down, and leave it floating. Come back to the dot, we're going to draw a curved line down and leave it floating. I come right on top and I draw a big curve line up, over, connect, and starting over here on the left, I'm just going to draw a little curved line, connect, and now I'm going to go around the edge. Curved line up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down down, connect. And everybody will have a different amount because we all draw differently. I come on the inside space and I draw one dot, two dots, and I draw one, two, three straight lines on the left, one, two, three straight lines on the right. Right here in the center I draw a curved line and I'm going to fill that in right now. Okay? I come over to the bottom and I draw one, two, three straight lines. From those straight lines, I'm going to take two fingers and put a dot. And from that dot, I draw a wavy, wavy, wavy line down on the left. Come back to the dot. Wavy, wavy line down on the right. Come back to the left wavy wavy line down on the left leave it floating come on the right hand side wavy wavy line down and leave it floating come up to the top on the left little wavy line connect on the left jump over little wavy line connect on the right come inside <clears throat> excuse me the space put one dot two dots put a little curve line on the left and a little curved line on the right. In the center, put a dot. We're going to draw a curved line to the left. Come back to the dot. Curved line to the right. Come right down to the center again. Draw a little curved line. Connect. And we're going to fill that in right now. Okay? Now come over to the right hand side right at this point and just draw a curved line. Curved line. Connect. And right at this end, we're going to draw a straight line out, slightly curved line up, slightly curved line over, slightly curved line down, connect. I start over here on the left and let's just put a dot. And we're going to draw a straight line across. Come back to the dot, straight line down, straight line across straight line up, connect. Inside we're going to write ground hog day. Groundhog day. Exclamation point. Come over here on the left. We're going to draw a straight diagonal up. Straight line over. Jump over. Don't draw through your groundhog. Straight line straight diagonal down, connect, right at this point, straight line down, straight diagonal, connect. All right, now lining this up with this space right here, I'm going to come down below and I'm going to put a dot. And from that dot, I'm going to draw a wavy, wavy line, wavy, wavy line down, wavy line over, wavy line up, connect. Come over on the left, let's draw a little wavy line out and in. Come on the right, little wavy line out and in. Come over to this space right here, wavy line out, up, connect. And now we're going to draw that straight line out, little curved line down, 
slightly curved line over, little curved line up, and connect. Okay, I think that's all. Let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is take my black and color in this space right here, black. And then I'm going to come all the way down to the bottom. And I'm going to color all this space black. Okay, and this space black. And this space black because this is my shadow and I want it all to be colored in black okay so all of this should be black and that's reflecting from the Sun up here which then tells me I need yellow so I'm gonna take my yellow and I'm going to color in all of this space in the inside space and I'm going to add yellow lines going down because I want it to look as if the Sun is shining on my groundhog which is now brown so get a brown and we're just going to lightly color this space brown bring it down and then just to add a pop of color this is just me you know how I am I'm going to do the inside of this space purple now you can choose any color you want I'm using purple you're the artist you make your own choices but I want to pop a color so I'm going to do this purple I'm going to do this space purple over here on the right and I'm just going to add some lines of color that's all okay let's see what this looks like all colored in okay here is my groundhog all colored in ready for groundhog day looks to me like he saw a shadow okay bye bye